Shout out to the EA Sports Game Changer program for allowing us to capture some early Madden 19 gameplay. Today, we are an ultimate team with Superman, Cam Newton leading our offense, and the likes of Vaughn Miller leading our defense. As we go into a game against Eric Raywetter. Eric is one of the rising Madden YouTubers on the scene if you don't know who he is. His link will be in the description for his channel. He's over 60,000 subscribers at the moment, mainly posting tip videos. So if you're looking to get better at Madden 19, definitely go to check him out as he's intercepted by Champ Bailey. And look at Champ with the cut and Champ with the speed and Champ with the the touchdown that was sexy keeping his balance and that one cut in the open field is so devastating i try to talk eric up about how he posts good tips and all that and here he is throwing a pick six try to throw him a bone instead he throws me a bone as he's looking for redemption on this drive leaving the pocket oh man he's helicoptered by ted Hendricks. that had to hurt as he dumps it down on second down again a big hit and on third down sack by Vaughn Miller on fourth down. This is a mercy punt right here. He needs a couple of minutes for his offense to just regather themselves. Rethink their strategy. All right, because they're shook right now. In the meantime, we're going to look to show him a tip or two on how to play offense. Passing with Cam. Finding Lamar Miller. And flashback Miller spinning for a first down. Next play, running the ball with Lamar, but not really able to find too many rushing lanes. For me personally, I had struggles running the ball when I played Madden 19 early on, so you guys will see me passing the ball early and often unless it's on third down and Cam Newton, the quarterback, can take off out the pocket and get us a first down. But yeah, I struggled running the ball. I mean, you can run the ball, as you see right here, Lamar Miller trucking a man, getting a first down, but... I found running the ball to be a little bit, or passing the ball to be a little bit easier as we go to Randy Moss, who torches the man coverage. Now goal to go, looking to go high to Gronk, but it's incomplete. Starting the second quarter with play action with Cam Newton to Jerry Rice. And Rice able to double up our lead early on in this game. Eric's in a little bit of trouble right now. Our defense is giving him a couple of issues. We'll see if he can make an adjustment or... Open up the waterworks, because it's going to be a flood as he throws and is nearly intercepted. If that wasn't swatted by the linebacker, we might have had that with Barry. So Eric definitely needs to adjust his game plan quickly, because it's third down and six already on this drive. Go and play action with Young dumping down, and that'll be a first down. I believe that was Antonio Brown, and that might be the adjustment he needs. Just throwing a little bit more underneath right now instead of trying to take shots and try to slowly and methodically get himself back into this game, because... There's a long time left in this game as he actually calls a timeout as the play clock is about to expire. It's third down again, and he converts this time to Randy Moss in the slot. First down, what a pitch to Lamar Miller outside. Got some blocks, and Lamar Miller all the way to the 28-yard line. Now he's in a rhythm. This is where we're a little bit scared on the defensive end as he jukes his way to the end zone with Moss. If he's going to make our defense look like Swiss cheese, then... Our, four team, our formerly 14-point lead is not safe at all. So our offense is going to have to get something going right here. We cannot rely on our defense. Eric's going to figure out what we're doing eventually. It's whether we can keep up with him as Miller trying to one cut his way through traffic. Can not third down. Cam with the ball. Cam protected well. And that's a catch. Is it a first down? No. No first down. It's fourth and inches. And we're running. Hurry up. Looking to keep the offense on the field. Looking to get some points right before halftime. Cam directing traffic. Getting the snap. Staying patient in the pocket. Looking down. Field for Moss. Incompletion. And now Eric has a chance to tie the game right before halftime with good field position after our decision to go for it. He doesn't call a timeout. Oh, wait. Yes, he does. He calls a second timeout the 37-yard line, borderline field goal range for Young and the offense. And that pass to Lamar Miller should help him get into comfortable field goal range. He's thinking touchdown, though, as he goes in the flat. To, actually, I think I might have just shown the same play twice. Yes, I did. Here we go. 12 seconds left. Second and three. Oh, that's an interception by Eric Berry. Eric Put his hands in the cookie jar and Eric made him pay. So yeah, here's a tip for you, Eric. Don't go into the cookie jar. You will not get away with it. Right before half, so I'm just going to take a shot downfield. One-on-one, -on -one, Randy Moss. Let's see what happens. Why not? Moss gets the ball swatted out of his hands by, I believe that's veteran Brent Grimes, which is okay. Like I said, just take a shot right before halftime. We get ball to start the second half and Randy Moss. Oh, so devastating in the open field. The man is 6'4", he's fast, and he can spin moves. 
you definitely want to gonna want to try to find a way to get randy moss on your ultimate team on day one it's not gonna be easy it's gonna be one of the most expensive cards out there third down and nine he's sending pressure and he's getting home to cam sacked by bruce and our punting unit comes on the field and you can feel the momentum changing just a little bit it's only if eric can figure out what he's doing right now on the offensive end what a hit was that landon collins that just popped that man Nonetheless, Eric starts to drive off with great field position. He's already near midfield on second down and five as he dumps down to Eifert, who goes the wrong way. He turns it upfield, gets most of the yards back, but brings up a third down and six nonetheless. Here's Young just getting Antonio Brown again on that baby in route to move the chains. We're going to have to adjust that eventually as he goes in the middle wide open, Randy Moss with the PAT ties the game up at 14 all. Remember when I said our lead wasn't safe with the way Eric was starting to get his flow going? Our lead doesn't exist anymore. Now we have to make an adjustment if we want to get back into this game as Lamar Miller breaking the tackle, getting a nice game. Cam, a very inconsistent 5 for 10 passing so far, protected well, leaving the pocket with some space to rush. Here's Cam losing the ball, picked up by Eric, and Eric, I believe, just tried to lateral that right there. Nonetheless, has possession, has every ounce of momentum now on his side, and has Lamar Miller running to the 48-yard line. I tried to go for the first down with Cam, didn't slide, and that's the price we paid. Now here's Eifer in the corner to the 30-yard line. Lamar Miller on the next play, on the rush, comfortably getting Eric into field goal range as we start the fourth quarter with another Miller run, and Miller just getting the first down, entering Eric into the red zone. Here's Eric looking to pass with Steve Young. Only a three-man rush, but we're going to bet on some coverage defense. Here comes Ray Lewis, sacking Young for a loss of nine. Big time play. Second down. Here's a blitz. And Young just gets rid of that to avoid the sack incompletion instead. Now it's third down in a mile. Got to be a little bit conservative here as he dumps it down to Eifert, who tries to get the wiggle sticks going. Nonetheless, tackled for a fourth down and seven, and that'll bring out the field goal unit up and good. As much as you want to go for the first down in that play, knowing that any points gives you the lead, you got to, you know... Just not force it right there. Especially when your defense is playing as well as Eric's has since the first quarter. He needs pretty much one more stop here to get the win, secure the victory as Lamar Miller rushing outside. For us, I feel like on that last drive, you know, as long as he doesn't put out a quarterback spy, we can take off with Cam. Here we are, second down and four. Cam leaving the pocket, and look at all this room for Superman to run. Sliding down smartly this time as we hit the two-minute warning in field goal range. Cam once again leaving the pocket, Cam. Once again, sliding. I want to get that first down, but got to play it a little bit safe here. I, have to, I learned my lesson last time as we hit Jerry Rice and Rice. Look at him stumble all the way to the six-yard line. A goal line stand for Eric is needed at this point as Marshawn Lynch rushes to the two-yard line. He calls his first time out to secure some clock for his next drive. As can play action to Rice. Oh, Rice can't hang on. Now third down. It's a rush for Miller. Stop. Just short by Landon Collins and Eric calling his second time out on fourth down and goal. We bring out the field goal unit. I really wanted to go for it right there. I really wanted to go for the lead, but we just had to tie the game up. And if we could play any sort of defense, maybe send this game to overtime, I'll take it. But Eric has been moving the ball really well as he's on the return with Champ. A big time hit shuts him down at the 29 yard line. Here's Steve Young with only one timeout to work with, dumping it down to Miller. Got to get out of bounds, and Miller able to break a tackle and stop the clock. Only a gain of four, though. Play action. Here's Young, protected well, leaving the pocket. Now here comes Hendricks, throwing and intercepted by Eric Berry. Berry cutting up field, out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Oh, Eric. Don't put your hands in the cookie jar. Not a tie game. Here comes Cam Newton on the rush again. He needs to put out a quarterback spy because Cam is dominating with his legs. Second down and four. Cam one more time. Rolling. Throwing. Here's Lamar Miller. Miller shot at the nine yard line. And now we're just going to let that clock chew all the way down to about three seconds left. Call that timeout and set up the game winning field goal attempt for Harrison Butker. But you know Eric has that one timeout left and he's going to use it to ice the kicker and put all the pressure on us. This is for all the marbles. 26 yards away for the win. Eric is not trying to block it. Here's Butker up and Butker good. We walk off with the victory and a little bit of defense saving the day for us today. 
a little bit of users, with Eric Berry. A good game to Eric, nonetheless. A lot of Eric's being said right now. But, um, yeah, shout out to Eric. Good game to him. It just came down to who made the winning plays in the fourth quarter, and thankfully we made one or two more than him, and we're able to grab the victory. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more Madden 19 gameplays, and I'll catch you guys next time.